Hello everyone and welcome back to Football Manager 2017 in our European Journeyman series at Bayer Leverkusen in what could be our last but one episode. Um, I'm still not sure what I want to do going forward. If we want to do another team in this series or if we want to start a new series. If you haven't already, let me know your thoughts down in the comments or over on Twitter. Link in the description and I'll make a decision in the next couple of days or after the weekend. Um... So today we do have a lot going on though before we get too far ahead of ourselves. We're going to finish off the Bundesliga season today which is one big piece of news as we try and defend our Bundesliga title. At the moment we're two points clear of Bayern Munich with three games left to go. It is very, very tight at the top. We're going to take on Wolfsburg first um, just a few days after we played PSG, a 2-1 win away in Paris. Uh, and then we have that return leg against PSG in the Champions League semi-final. That is going to be huge for us um, and hopefully we can see our way through. Then we have two last games, the first one away against Freiburg and the last one at home against Hamburg. So that is going to be a really difficult run in. We've still got Köln to play in the DFB Pokal final. If we get past PSG, we'll have another Champions League final as well. So plenty to look forward to. But the team is not in the best shape going into this game and we need to rotate the players, which is what I've done on the team sheet today and it's a big risk when you're only two points ahead in the title race and your opponents have better goal difference you because we have to win this game we can't afford to slip up even a little bit um, so the team that we're putting out there is one that is a mixture of fresh but still strong up front Janssen is the only surviving player for my usual front three he's joined by Malerba and Naktgal Miklachak is coming in for Betty in midfield but Dumbier remains uh, Douglas Santos has come in at left wing back Henriks is still there at right wing back Traub is still in defence but he's joined by Jens and Schiel and Nezovic is still in goal well, it's taken half an hour for the first highlight to come Dumbier plays it into Naktgal now Janssen slips into Malerba he's in space and he's hit the post I thought that was a guaranteed goal but instead the defender clears it away and the chance goes begging Dumbier sends the ball out wide to Henriks as we come again. He's put the cross in and Naktigal's first time effort saved by the keeper and tipped away for a corner. Janssen with the corner in towards the middle but cleared out. It was in a perfect area but he just could not get it to the he to a Bayer Leverkusen head. Free kick from Janssen. Trying to put it in towards the middle but it's cleared out by Redondo. Jench sends it back but nothing coming from that free kick at all. Janssen with a free kick, sends it in again, and there's a foul in there from Rotondo. He cleared out the last free kick, but he did not clear that one, and we've got another penalty. It's actually Jench who's going to take this penalty, because neither Bernardo Silva nor Braga are on the pitch, and they usually take them for us. Jench had a good record when he used to take them, and he's put that one away as well. A 1-0 lead, and that's his first goal of the season as well. Uler knocks the ball over to Rewobi, now Kaita out to Camara. Now Gonzalez coming in from the right, finds Kaiter again. Need to be careful we don't concede here. Casquets managed to get in behind. He's got two players in the middle. He puts it across. It's just wide from Gonzalez, but a real danger shot there. Uler with a free kick. It's in a dangerous area. It's tipped onto the post, but the player following up has managed to just tuck it in. He reacted quicker than any of our defenders and was able to easily slot it in past Nezovic. Really poor defending. Less than half an hour to go now and we still need to push for a win, but there's still a chance that Wolfsburg could win this game. We are not looking the better team at all at the moment. Janssen does have the ball though. He pulls it back to Dumbier. Now Naktgal over to Henriks. Plenty of players in the middle for him. He finds Dumbier. Mikulacak to Malerba. Around the corner to Douglas Santos who pulls it back. And Malerba! Good shot. Straight hard on over. The keeper basically dived over it and we have got our lead back. With 10 minutes to go, I'm not planning to make any substitutions because I want to keep all the players not on the pitch fit for the next game. I don't want to risk them in this one. I'm just hoping we can see out these last few minutes because they've got three fresh players on the pitch and we don't have any. We are still looking like the best team in the statistics at the minute, but there's five minutes to go and Douglas Santos is in down the left. He pulls it back and Janssen finds the bottom corner. A very swift goal from that free kick. Janssen making it 17 for the season and we are 3-1 up and surely home and dry. Well, just a few seconds left as Wolfsburg try and bring this ball forward, but there's nothing they can do and there is that full-time whistle. A 3-1 win is exactly what we needed ahead of 
that game against PSG because now we can literally just put out our strongest possible team for every match to the end of the season because we won't have a bunch up of fixtures like we've had at the moment. So I'm very, very happy with that. It also takes us to two wins in a row ahead of this game against PSG, which is going to be a tough one. And we're five points clear of Bayern who need to win to keep up that pressure. Well, after making the correct call in the last game by resting so many key players, we can actually put out nearly a fully fit team for this game against PSG. And given we won that game, we're on a confidence high too. This is a huge game for us. If we can get through to this, we'll be in our second Champions League final in two years, which is incredible stuff. Um, and hopefully we can defend the European title, which I don't think is anything I've ever managed to do before in this game. So that'd be new for me. It is another goal to work towards. It definitely finished the season on a high um, and our time at Leverkusen on a high. Now, the team we're putting out there is made up of Janssen, Braga and Bernardo Silva. They're all up front with Betty and Havertz in midfield. Then Robolo comes back in at left back alongside El Saeed, Traub and Rukas. And Henriks is at right back with Nezovic in goal. Well, we're nearly at half-time and there's been nothing happening in this game. Just three shots all off target from us. PST have done nothing considering they have to get the goals to go through. Here's Betty out wide towards Henriks. He's trying to take it around the right. Instead, he finds Betty again. Braga on to Robolo into Janssen and he has finished it as well. Janssen really starting to find his form for us. His 18th of the season and we've got the lead. It doesn't really change anything for PSG. They had to score two goals to go through. They still have to score two goals to force extra time but it's a huge confidence boost for us and means that we're really in a good position to not go out inside 90 minutes. Um, I'm still really happy with their team's performance in that first half. Now one interesting thing that I noticed before this game is that we actually, despite this being our 52nd game of the year, we've not actually got a single player who's scored 20 goals. We've got Braga and Bernardo Silva both sitting on 19, Janssen now on 18 as well, but nobody's hit 20 goals yet this season, which is absolutely incredible. Here's Janssen with a free kick, and it's found the top corner. 4-1 on aggregate, surely. Surely that will see us through. Janssen joins Bernardo Silva and Braga on 19 goals. Which of the three will be the first to 20? But right now we are heading to another Champions League final. We've been totally in control of this game. PSG, who now need three goals, haven't had a shot in an hour of football. We are having an absolute masterclass um, performance against this PSG team. They have finally had their first shot of the game on the hour mark. But at the moment, they are not looking the dangerous and potent force that I would have expected them to be. And we could be about to dispatch another European giant. We've already knocked out Juventus. We've already knocked out Atletico Madrid. We could be about to knock out PSG. And then we've got the final against Real Madrid, most likely, um, or AC Milan. Both very big teams as well. So you've got to say that we have really, really earned our position um, in this final and hopefully we will manage to go all the way I'm not really sure what change to make here um, not that many players are actually that fit so I might just leave the team out there given that we've got five days till the next Bundesliga match that's plenty of time to recover and I don't really want to disrupt the flow of the team when we're this close to a Champions League final into the last five minutes can we get over the line it is time just to dribble out some substitutions at this point I think um, if we just make them one at a time and run down this clock as much as possible. They've already made all of their substitutions early in the second half. They've not really had much of a difference for them. Um, and it looks almost certain like we are about to reach a second consecutive Champions League final. Having won the Champions League last year, we could be about to do it again this year. Absolutely sensational stuff. Just 20 seconds left. We were absolutely wasting that clock with substitutions here. And Nezovic is going to have the goal kick or free kick. He sends it forward. Braga's header back to El Saeed. Surely the full-time whistle's got to go. We're a minute over the allowed, allowed time. Braga can't get the pass through. It's sent back to Thales. He's trying to bring it forward. And there it is, the full-time whistle. We're going to the Champions League final. Absolutely incredible. I was not expecting to win both of these two matches at the start of this episode um, because we had to rotate so much, but we have managed to do it. We've beaten PSG, made it to the final, got £6.5 million pounds 
in the process and done a brilliant, brilliant job. We are on our way to winning another competition. We could win five this season after finishing runner-up in the DFL Super Cup, which is now starting to really annoy me because it could have been the sex double. But at the moment, we've got two pieces of silverware. We're in the final of the DFB Pokal. We're in the final of the Champions League. And we're two points clear at the top of the Bundesliga with two games to play. Well, here is the confirmation that it is going to be Real Madrid that we play in the final. They've beaten Milan both home and away by two goals to one. And we will face them in the final that is a huge huge final to be taken on the champions league recently if we have a look at the past winners we are obviously the last team to win it real madrid haven't been in a final since the 22 23 season um and leverkusen actually finished runners up in the champions league in the 18 19 season as well but this is going to be a repeat of the final all the way back in 2002 when Real Madrid managed to beat us, it's a chance for the club to get revenge and to defend our Champions League title. And in this alternate reality, be the only team to have ever achieved that in the Champions League because Real Madrid in the game did not manage to do it this time. I know they've done it in real life, but not in this game. So we will be the first to do that. Well, here is the last but one game of the Bundesliga season. And I'm actually going to be a little bit of a tease right now. What I'm going to say is that this is going to be the last match of this episode because the way that the fixtures have timed out, what I would like to do is have the match against Freiburg today, which could actually wrap up the title. If we wrap up the title today, then I will play the one against Hamburg today as well. But I don't think that's going to be the case. But if that is, then you will see both games right now. But otherwise, if the title is not decided today against Freiburg, um, next episode we will do the Bundesliga final day and the DFB Pokal final in the same episode. Um, and then we'll have the Champions League final in a standalone episode. If that isn't the way it works out, and if we do both Freiburg and Hamburg today, um, I will put the DFB Pokal final in with the Champions League final next episode. But I think it's a nicer way to break it up if we can have the Bundesliga and DFB Pokal and finish off the domestic season all in one go, and then have the Champions League final as a standalone episode. So that's what I'm thinking. Um, but we'll have to see how this match against Freiburg goes first. If we win it and Bayern Munich lose, then we will be the champions of Germany. It's that simple. So we have to make sure we do our job and get three points on the board. To do that, we've got the strongest team possible going out there, and it's still a very fit team as well. Jansen, Braga and Bernardo Silva all up front, still in that race to be the first to reach 20 goals this season. In midfield, we have Betty and Havertz. Across the back five, it's Rabolo, El Said, Traubrukas and Henriks, and Nezovic is in goal. El Said on the ball, plays it into Havertz. We're in our weird third kit at the moment. Betty into Jansen. Ball on to Braga, slipped into Bernardo Silva, and he cracks it into the back of the net. And Bernardo Silva wins the race to 20 goals. Our top scorer at the club now. I thought his season was over at the start of this one um, because he was out injured for so long after we signed him. But he's come absolutely roaring back and been up there as one of our standout players alongside Betty and maybe Robolo as well at left back. But he's been absolutely consistent all season and he's just given us a lead that could deliver us the title. Havertz with a free kick onto Rabolo. He puts it into Braga. Now Jansen. Good ball over the top, but it is just cut out before Henriks can get there. Now Betty. Jansen. Back to Havertz. There's a man free on the left. Henriks has the ball though, and he slips it into Bernardo Silva again, and it's just not gone in there. We were so close to a second. Bernardo Silva with the corner, tries to whip it in, but it is headed away. Betty chases after it and has accidentally nodded it out of play. Braga on to Bernardo Silva. Ball sent back to El Said. He pushes it forward to Robolo again. Jansen back to Betty. Bernardo Silva slips it into Braga and Braga finds the back of the net. Jansen's going to finish third in the race to 20 goals, but they're all still fighting it out to be top scorer. Betty with a free kick in a good position. He's hit the absolute truncheon there. Nearly, nearly getting into the top corner. But that corner piece just re absolutely rebounding the ball back from the goal frame. Corner from Bernardo Silva into the near post. It is headed straight back out. He whips it in again though. And Braga there has just given us the lead. Uh, just given us our third goal in this lead now and pulled ahead of Bernardo Silva in the top scoring race. Well, here comes Freiburg on the attack. They've still got the ball there, but it is just stolen away from them by Robolo. He tries to find Braga. 
Header away, picked up by Bernardo Silva. He then launches it forward, cut out by Janssen. Robolo back to Betty. Havertz, everybody just in a neat little line there. They finally break up. Henricks puts it into Braga again. Now Bernardo Silva onto Janssen. He pushes it out to Robolo. Bernardo Silva in there makes it 4-0. It's a very, very complete performance from the team and we are just looking absolutely incredible. Free kick from Meister. Long way out, but he's found the top corner. It hit the underside of the bar, I think, on its way in. A perfectly placed free kick. A very good one as well, and he's got their consolation goal. Nezovic sends the ball out. Less than a minute to go now. 4-1 this result. Another impressive performance from the team as we look to secure a retained title. But we've given the ball away here in a silly position. Not that they can really do any damage at this point. Even if they get another goal, they still need two in about 20 seconds. But here's St. Maxim, puts it in, and Nezovic with a safe pair of hands. He this season has set the new record for clean sheets. He doesn't add to that today, but he is already the standalone player um, for clean sheets kept in a season. And I think this actually also matches our record of wins in the Bundesliga. We might actually have broken it. We might have just set a new record for the number of wins in a season, surpassing last season um, but as you can see five points clear Bayern Munich play tomorrow I think um, and they have to win just to take this title race to the final day well as you can see Bayern Munich have drawn with Borussia Dortmund an 80th minute equaliser for Dortmund means that we have won the Bundesliga and now the treble uh, we retained it for the second for the first time uh, Bayern won it three years in a row, then I became manager of Leverkusen and we've managed to win the Bundesliga two times in a row. Incredible stuff and it means that we've now added that to our FIFA Club World Cup and UEFA Super Cup and we've still got the Champions League final and the DFB Pokal final still to play. So a lot to look forward to um, going forward. Now. I think actually I am going to leave the Hamburg match till next episode, um, partly because I'm also short on time at the moment. And with the title sewn up, it seems a little bit silly You're jumping into that game now. So we'll have our little victory lap in the next episode against Hamburg before taking on Köln, trying to win our first DFB Pokal final as a manager. Um, and then we'll have that Real Madrid Champions League final in its own episode um, in a couple of days' time. So if you want to see those two finals, do subscribe to the channel. Make sure to drop a like on this video as well if you enjoyed our complete demolition of PSG um, and our retaining of the Bundesliga title. Follow me on Twitter for all the things related to the channel. And if you want to see first where we go next with this series um, or if we carry on this series at all. But until next time, see ya.